Much of D&D's 5th edition books take place in the Forgotten Realms. Now, if you're a new player, you might not know what that means. And if you're an old school player, you might just be surprised about what new things may be discovered. So, the Forgotten Realms, as a setting, it's an old medieval world. So old that all of the civilizations that we know exist in the world today are built upon the bones of empires and civilizations that the world has forgotten about. It's this giant playground. And I think that gets us, like with, with what we're dealing with now, it's, it's sort of like, how do we put it to full use? Let's take, for example, the city of Waterdeep. Um, it is a metropolitan coastal city on the Sword Coast. It has hundreds of thousands of people living in it. But what people don't realize, and what few people in Waterdeep actually remember, is that it is built on top of a dwarven city, which was built on top of an elven city. So if you delve into Waterdeep far and deep enough, you will discover these forgotten realms underneath it. And that's sort of a, a template that carries through the entire setting. You can look to pretty much any place where civilization resides now and say, there was something else there before. What is that and what mysteries does it contain? And that's sort of a, a key theme of the setting. It's, it also could harbor things that are kind of like canon from different editions and, and all kinds of things like that. So I, I think when we work with it, we just try to like squeeze the best out of it. Um, but it's so sp sprawling. Like, it's just so big. I want to be like, what? In there, there's something that's sticking out of the ground and that cannot be explained. And it's not a part of any realm you know of or you've read about in the books. It's something that is completely forgotten and you don't know what it is. And it's out of the lore. And, you know, what the heck is that thing? And so Richard and I, are, we, we talk about this and we're like, we want to put something in the realms that is truly forgotten, that you don't know about. And so as I'm going along in my D&D &D career here, I'm going to get a chance to actually write my own adventures and, you know, work with the team and to cr and create these things. And, and I'm going to put some things in the Forgotten Realms that you don't know about. You've read all the books and you're, you've never heard of this thing before and nobody has. Um, because I love that. I think when something is mysterious and unknown, uh, it fires up the imagination and it, it sparks, it makes it like we, you know, as, as we do our little fearful quest through the world <laughs> to make everything known is to like create this sense of security. But when something is completely unknown, it's like, whoa, where was that? Why did this come from? Um, and it's why, you know, I love things like the pyramids. Like there is this thing that is actually exists in the world that people don't know how the hell it was done. People theorize about it, but it's still a giant mystery. You know, and I love that. I love that that, that actually exists in reality. So, uh, Take, for example, the current story, Tomb of Annihilation, which takes place in Chult. One of the key features of the story is that you discover a lost city in the jungle that belonged to an ancient Chultan kingdom that's never been described before. We wanted to actually play up this idea that nobody knows anything about this place. And so it just heightens the mystery. But as you explore it, you learn, or you start to sort of unravel clues of how this place fell. Um, and without giving away too much, this Chultan kingdom once worshipped a god named Ubtau who abandoned them. So they took on these other gods came to sort of fill the spiritual vacuum. And they turned out to be trickster gods um, who kind of misled these, uh, this culture into sort of a self-destructive course. I won't spoil any more than that, uh, but I mean, you can meet, you can find the bones of one of the old queens um, under the city and that sort of illuminates part of the story. I think that what makes the Forgotten Realms interesting is the discovery of the ancient.